Hello everybody, welcome, great to see you today. Hope you're all doing well. You know, in this video, I like to talk about the rat race that we're living in this world and the stress that we accumulate inside our mind and in our life and it just can affect us in a physical way that it can just shut down our immune system and make us sick and just create all kinds of illnesses within our bodies. And all of us, I'm sure, we want to live a wonderful, healthy lifestyle. But when we're so bombarded by everyday stressors in life, it can get the best of us. And in this video, I like to talk about peace. Having the peace of mind is ever so priceless. And I'd like to encourage you today to pause and take a step take a step back and watch where you're at at this time in your life. Are you like that person or like a dog that just keeps running around chasing its tail, trying to keep up with the Joneses in life, trying to keep up with all the doing, doing, working, um, accomplishments, you know, just running the whole rat race. Just keep going, 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 going. And our physical body is amazing how God created us to be. But when we abuse it and we don't take care of it and we neglect it, it can do a number to us. And mentally, I like to encourage you to just try to release any kind of stress or fear that you may have living inside your mind that's just sitting there dormant and it's hard for you to get rid of. But I encourage you today, you can do something about the stressors in your life and develop and have more of a peace of mind today. I like what Dr. Bruce Lipton, a biologist, he says. He says, I'd like to share with you that we have 50 trillion cells in um, our bodies and we need those cells to grow every day. But what shuts down our immune system and prevents our growth is stress or having fear. That just shuts down our growth and it just minimizes the cells that we have. And that's why it can just cause us to get sick very very easily and also Bruce Lipton says stress are it affects our immune system open to infection gets us sick it shuts down the growth mechanisms and fear or buying into other people's fears the news the media gossip anything else be careful what you hear close your ear and just be mindful to just mind your own business, try to live a simple life the best way possible, and try not to buy into other people's fears because it can eventually kill us. The more the person is under stress, the more the body starts to lose control. So bottom line is we need to take care of our immune system. You cannot have fear and protection at the same time. That's what the scientist, um, the biologist, Dr. Bruce Lipton says. So fear, stress is the number one killer. I remember with my mother-in-law, sadly, sadly, shockingly, um, 19 years ago, she ended up passing away of liver cancer. We were all shocked. Uh, she had fourth stage liver cancer. But my mother-in-law, sadly to say, she was a type of woman that wanted to keep up with the Joneses and she was very stressed in her business in life and just very, very money oriented. And um, it just created a lot of havoc in her life, anxieties, worries, and things like that. And she had a lot of stomach issues and pains for like a couple of years. But the doctor says, oh no, you know, you're fine. Here's some stomach medications. And she went on her way. So that's why it alarmed us when we found out with the ongoing stomach pain she had after taking a CAT scan she immediately got hospitalized to UCLA hospital where we found out she had fourth stage liver cancer. She was a person who was so caught up in this world in this culture in the society the circle of friends that she had the um, uh, the high society of wealthy women just trying to keep up with all you know all of their lifestyle the travels the clothes the cars this and that. And sadly, she ended up losing her business, um, foreclosure of the house that she lived with my husband and I for many years, and many, many poor uh, choices, business choices that she made in her life. And 
that's what my husband, he's not focused as a priority of money making because he saw what it did to his parents, how it eventually just pretty much destroyed their life one way or another. So I, allowed, I wanted to share with you that example because that was pretty much living proof is when you're so caught up with the culture and keeping up with the Joneses or whatever it may be that your immune system will eventually shut down if it's ongoing and the stresses in life can do a number to our body, our mind, and our, and our health. Sorry about that helicopter noise here. I'll close the windows. So how are you today? How is your stress level? I know that recently I shared with my past video that as a hairstylist for the first time in my life, I decided to not work with an assistant. Um, over 27 years, I mentioned before, I had, I counted, I had 19 assistants. And um, I'm just kind of just done with training assistants these days because it can take a lot of mental stress on my part. It can distract me from work and um, just the energies that I feel with the other person and myself and so many other variety of things that I didn't realize that it would just create a lot of stress on my part. And I came to the point where I value my peace of mind. So I'm taking the step of faith when I paused and chose to step back to try to work without an assistant. I chose to be more physically tired and exhausted than choosing to be mentally tired and drained and losing my peace of mind eventually. But we all have this choice. And it's just like, let's say, raising children. When our children are small, they say they step on your toes. But when they get older, teenagers and adults, they eventually step on our hearts. Or another saying with small children is that when they're younger, they can be physically draining and tiresome for us as parents. But when they get older, they become more emotionally tiresome and draining for us. So, of course, when they get older, when it's more emotional kind of situations, it's hard for us to control that. And it's a different type of stress that we deal with in our life. But if we can choose to be more physically tired um, than mentally tired in a way, that might be a better route. That's what I'm trying to do and we'll see how it goes. So that's why in this video, I'm encouraging all of you, take a pause. If you're so busy at work or raising children or busy with um, your love relationship with your partner or busy with other things that you may be thinking of, uh, and you're just running the rat race, just take a moment to pause. Prioritize, see your worth and value. I like to share with you in Isaiah 26, 30, you will keep him in perfect peace. Those whose mind are steadfast because they trust in you. So God just wants us to have that unsurpassing peace that God gives to us is a gift that only comes from God because God represent all about peace, hope, faith, love, goodness, all the wonderful things. And so many of us, you know, we try to do so many things and we exhaust ourselves. And let's just take care of ourselves, take care of our mind, our body, our spirit, the best way we can. So we can live a really healthy, wonderful, good, abundant life and just keep building our 50 trillion cells and just let it grow and flourish beautifully rather than shutting it down and um, being threatened by all the stressors in our life. So if we, can, if we can diminish any kind of stress that we have today, if we can change it up, whatever it may be, I challenge you to give that a try just so that you can have that peace of mind because peace is so priceless. If there's anybody in your life that's very toxic, let's say, or who's just emotionally draining to you, that's just pulling you, you know, just just making you so tiresome, maybe it may not be worth it to you to have that person in your life. But if they happen to be a family member or somebody, somebody that you can't get away from, just maybe limit the amount of time you do spend with them. 
just let us learn more and evaluate ourselves. When you feel like something is pulling you or draining you or depleting you, whether it's another person, whether something at work that's going on, whether you're prioritizing just uh, the culture we live in, trying to you know ac uh, accommodate so much wealth and prestige and you know your wonderful reputation, whatever it may be. As believers in Christ, let us remember the true beauty in life is a peace of mind. And only God can grant it to us. He's waiting patiently for us to ask Him, to help Him, to, um, for Him to help us in that manner. And it says in the Bible verse, 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, cast all your anxieties on Him. Why? Because He cares for us. God wants us to cast and up, you know, just unburden all our heavy load and, lay and burdens onto God. And he promises to take care of us because he is faithful and God will take care of us. Let's develop that trust, that loving relationship with God. Let us not feel that we have to be in so much control, but to release and just trust in God's sovereignty that he has our back. Because why? He cares for all of us individually. He wants us to live the good life and to be able to have that priceless peace of mind because peace is so powerful. And when you know God on the inside, then you will ultimately have peace on the outside. I hope that something I said in this video may give you a time to just pause, reflect what's going on in your life, how stressed are you, you don't want it to shut down your immune system and make you get sick because that definitely can happen, says Dr. Bruce Lipton. But you want all the trillion cells to flourish and continue to grow. But we need to keep on moving in our life. We can't stay stuck or stagnant. We need to keep moving and let's move in a good and right direction, heading towards that wonderful priceless peace of mind rather than the constant stressors that can eventually kill us when we buy into stress and fear. God bless you today. And I hope that next week, next month, next year, you may be flourishing into a wonderful, healthy human being and be able to have more clarity in your mind because you have chose to diminish stress and to evolve in God's spirit, walking in his spirit and in his truth and his beautiful peace. God bless you. See you next week. Goodbye.